Today we are going solo queue into champion ranked to tell you all my thoughts and plans so that you two can think like a champion Rainbow Six player. I believe this is episode 25, which is like pretty crazy, but also I'm very excited. And shout out to Reese because Reese Wood, you wanted some Cav gameplay. You've been asking for days and today is the day. We're going to learn how to play Cav and we're going to learn how to play Maverick, but we're going to play Maverick in a less traditional sense. We're not just gonna Mav open a reinforcement and sit there like we're some other hard breach loser. No, we're gonna play Maverick the sneaky rat way where you're lurking around the map, surprising, getting kills, and it's gonna be awesome. And we're also gonna learn how to play Cav to make her actually useful because a lot of people play Cav like complete morons. And today we're gonna figure out why that is. So let's get into the match. Hell yeah. So we're coming up against a five stack here and it looks like most of my team is solo queue. Another stack because I know pretty much all these guys and they also have all like pretty high win rates. So we're gonna have to play definitely ratty to get the upper hand on these guys. We're on the defense first, so we get to pull out the cab first consulate. Nice, consulate's a great cab map, especially with all the different, you know, vertical takes that people do. And there's a lot of just avenues you can get around with cab on this, so that's nice. The thing about cab, right off the start, let's get let's just get into it because the thing about cab is you you have to make pressure you have to create pressure by lurking shooting flank drones constantly switching up your position you want to get rid of their info and then switch your position and then use the fact that you have the audio cover of her ability to make the play so mix up the info cause misinformation cause pressure continuously be pushing on that on that flank pushing back and forth kind of like poking at it that way they're constantly worried about it and they have to actively watch it or commit utility or bodies to that flank um, and you can do that a lot of ways, you know, you can open up a bunch of different hatches So they have to watch all of them at the same time You can just shoot a flank drone run away come back a different route shoot the flank drone come back, you know 20 seconds later So there's a lot of different options. Uh, I want to be on Solus here just because she's pretty annoying. I don't like her um, Especially when I'm solo queue because I only have two drones since we're playing map today uh, The doke band's good because dokeby is gonna be a pretty solid counter to cav You know when you make a good play you're in a good spot You're ready to make the play and then you get a phone call and just completely ruins your day not a great time so my teammates might kind of hate me for playing cab. I'm gonna take this sight off so that I have uh, iron sights on. I like bringing the shotgun because I find the pistol is what I'm using most of the time anyway. Should put the laser sight on that. Um, and that way I can use the shotgun to open hatches and still have my impacts for like impacting walls and like making plays throughout the round. Uh, you can run this gun, but I just find it's like not that good. Like if the, if the M12 was like a lot better of a weapon, I could use that, but because it's like, it's like on par with the pistol for me. It's like there's not even a point running it. That's the one That's the one big thing about Cav is you want to make sure you're Protect using her ability and outplaying people because you are probably not going to win most of those gunfights. So. You, be you better be sharp on the brain in the brain department. We'll do the sight setup here. The shotgun is super quick and stuff, so it's nice for doing sight setup, which is good. Grab some walls. And also, big fun news... Um, my PC is working again. We shouldn't have any lagging today. And if we do, I will be very demoralized and sad. So I want to look for some drones here. Take out some info while I can. They know we're, I'm cab, but that's fine. Like, honestly, I kind of like the fact that they know I'm cab because that way they are constantly concerned about me coming from somewhere. They're constantly have to worry about it and they have to be kind of on their toes or else they're going to get caught off. So let's see where they spawn at. Looks like they didn't spawn. Oh, there's a couple admin side, three admin side. There's three coming admin side, guys. I'll let my teammates know. One's coming main lobby. I'm just going to scan them so my team knows who's who and what ops the other team is actually bringing. I could impact out the store when he goes for the repel. A little risky, though. I don't know exactly where he's repelled at. Going for the main wall. I'm gonna try to pressure Visa here since they're coming admin side. They might send a guy in Visa. In admin. The door is shut, so I'm chilling right now. It's a lion. Though. I could probably push up on this hallway and get aggressive. There's a Brava drone gonna fall off that. So there's the pressure. Now they're kind of worried and about it. Mags. Sound like this guy cloned from like right here. It's like kind of around the corner. Here, I'm just gonna shotgun through the floor, add some pressure, make them worried about it, and then I'm gonna leave. Now they think I'm Visa, and then kind of poke at the flank from here. And spiral windows. Do you have a drone on sight on me? 
Oh gosh. Keep the info stale. See, these guys are all calling to each other too, so it makes it hard because now they all know where I'm at. I'm kind of stuck here. Kind of just have to fight this. Try to get rid of that default. He is on the repel, so I'm not going to be able to win that fight. As you can see, the info is really crushing us. Dang. Had to try and make a play there. Getting droned out consistently. I can't fall off because if I give them the site, they're just going to plant the bomb in that top corner. Like right now, they could go for a plant at any point right on that doorway because we don't have anyone in sight. So, unfortunate, you know. Kind of have to try to poke at it. That's the thing about Cav is she's not great against five stacks that do have really solid info because most of the time you're not able to outplay them because you see here even they have a flank drone, etc. So they got that plant down, as you can see, like I mentioned. Like they have control, they can get it down. But they're kind of folding on this post plant. It's actually very winnable if my team plays aggressive and gets these picks back. They have to play aggressive though. They have to push. As you can see, they're pushing up. Getting rid of that info. One's underneath. I'll go for gun. Protect the bomb. Nice, he killed the guy underneath. The guy underneath is dead. Oh shit, I'm not with you, bro. He's sticking it. Nice, good job, guys. Wow. Never fucking Huge mind. moves, what a retake. That's how you play the retake. You have to play aggressive and you <laughs> have to get those kills back because the clock is against you. You have to push up. As you saw, my team is consistently, those two guys are consistently pushing and looking for the picks and the other team gave them to him. The other team hides, plays it smarter, doesn't take all those gunfights. Then, like, the Brava didn't need to peek. She doesn't need to peek until the bomb's being defused, right? She has the vertical play on it. Um, so they kind of they kind of blundered the post plant, but my teammates played really well. And hell yeah, shout out to the boys, fucking W W gamers. I actually might put the site back on. I don't really like the iron sights. I find it blocks a lot of it, and I'd rather have that red dot B. The red dot B is nice on the shotguns because the spread of the bullets matches up to the outline, the outer circle of the reticle, so you can know how like where you need to hold your angles uh, to be more like precise with it. Let's take Yo, a look. you guys know Buxer and that. Protect the bomb. I have no idea what this guy He's just said. He's my favorite streamer. Who is? Uh, Buxer and Nuts. Oh, Pox on Locks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that guy, dude. <laughs> Yo, he's sick for a minute. Yeah, that guy's dope. Pox on Locks, dude. Say again. Pox on Locks? You don't know Pox on Locks? Pox on Locks? I think he's in our game. Yeah, that guy's crazy, dude. Swapping mags. You think? Okay, obviously yeah, these guys are just no joking shot, no around, shot. but. So I just heard your voice and I knew it was like, what? It Sounds so beautiful, right? Bro, I'm so yeah. guys, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. All right, we're gonna open the hatches, so again we can have those flank roots. I'm gonna open the the um, what is this hatch called? <laughs> Not this one though. The admin hatch. There you go, that's the word. And then we can flank later over here. Well, I'm gonna see, just see sit here and wait for the rush real quick in case they rush Visa. Jackal's coming benches, and then one's coming upstairs by bathroom and Buck. I'm gonna try to get this, pick this buck off. He is alone. Might be able to get the kill onto him. Just gonna wait here, wait for the vault in, and then I'll sneak up and pistol him down. They're drilling uh, admin side. Hide in the bathroom here. Sound like he vaulted in to shoot yellow. my fucking toes. One's above me, I think. I'm getting cleared. Drilling, yeah, yeah, drilling split as well. Oh, wow, they Probably are really clear in here. Uh, drilling lounge. Entering main. I'm just gonna try to hide. Hopefully I don't get droned. I might go for this yellow flank. Be careful, he I could be holding me. I think that's ace. Oh, no, that's Jackal, that's Jackal. Yeah, that's Jackal, bro. Don't know bro, bro if I don't know the skins no more. Oh, bro, they're above. They're yeah, above, above. above. Uh, opening wall. You shouldn't be holding this flank, but I hear him. Definitely one to lose, by the way. Oh, he was above me. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, I missed all my shots. Oh, they did have a drone on me. I don't know where it's at. What a flank drone. Now we can go all the way up. Opening hatch. That's ram. So I can go up and work the floor here. There's, I can even make dirt for the up. other room. Just trying to find this buck. Buck's dead. Now I can work right. my day down visa. And one's back through lobby. Yellow. So we want to keep changing the info up. We He's get a kill, there. we change the info, right? They're going to be worried about me above. 
I'm already in a new spot. That's how quick I can move. Left side of the uh, yellow door. I have hatch control. Right side now. And they might have a drone right. on me in here. He's going on the stairs, so watch out. He might find you. The other one's left side of breach. Thermite. Just give me audio. One's above, I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna play my audio here. Wait. Inside. Uh, pillar. Top four, last stop standing. I'm above. I got other holes. I can just play right. above, stay alive. I'm gonna hide here for now. Play off the info. I think it was there. It's not called. Fifteen seconds. He's above. He's one HP. Careful the vert holes. Vert holes are any. One friendly remaining. Sorry, I'm lost. You're good. He's one HP mirror. Well played. Good job, guys. All right, so we wasted a lot of time. That guy coming up that late it was surprising. I was surprised he was still looking for me up there. But, you know, that's fine. He can do that. You know, he doesn't hey guys, have a lot I'm of time. A, I'm a one pro, here's how you set up on console basement. This is how you uh, hit a third floor flank on Kavira. <laughs> can you show us how to smoke the fentanyl cart? Smoke the fentanyl cart? Yeah, yeah I got you. Posting that one today. That's how it's done right there. See what you just witnessed? That that's what that's how it's done. All right. So, you know, clearly they have really good flank drones and stuff, but you see I can go pick off the flank drones. They're worried about it. Then I can go above, shoot them from above. Like you just want to constantly be changing up the information. It's all about the misinformation with Cav, but you still have to apply pressure. You still have to work that flank. You know, whether you go in, you see, you know, you, you quick peek, you see a guy and he starts shooting at you and you leave, that's fine. You know, that's fine. Find the holes where you can. If you can't find them, try another way. Just keep trying things until it works. Um, like going up in the hatch, I'm going to peek it. Yeah, because he doesn't know I'm up there because I shot the flank drone and they already cleared th third floor. They should think it's fine. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm, I'm busy ramming. Why, how the heck is Cav flanking us? You know, we had flank drones everywhere, but no, you don't because I shot them and I fucked with you and now you're dead. So suck it. Anyway, that's, so that's how you play Cav. It's pretty nice, right? But then again, Cav is like, I don't think she's that good. I think she's pretty weak uh, just because like, you know, once you do get into those gunfights, you're losing them a lot of the time. But you definitely, so you do have to like, you do have to really rely on being able to outplay them. And sometimes you just can't. Like sometimes they are just not allowing you to outplay them. Now this hole kind of sucks. I'm going to back it up over here so I can actually see deep into the doorway so that they're not seeing me at the same time. Now they might clear top again. They did shoot all the outside defaults this time. There's nothing main door yet. I'm going to think they're coming admin. I'm going to rat an admin. Try to pick them off. At least shoot a drone. I'll shoot this drone and then back up. Actually. There's one. There's yeah. two visit window. One secret wall and one visit window. Now they're worried about me a bit. Changing mags. Change up which side I'm on. Get another drone and then I can fall off. There one we go. Visa door now they well. have to redraw it again, but I already shot two of their drones. So what are they going to do? Repel in on a cab? Open not it knowing where I'm at? Probably not. I'm going to be on the other side of the map anyway. It doesn't matter. He's down the stairs. Now we'll look for some new info. Pushing up. Went back on the, the stairs. The other thing is like you don't have there's a lot of info two, with Cav, two, so having a stack is a lot easier. My randoms are calling out luckily, so I kind of have an idea three, where they're there's at. Three, there's four. There's four on the in, secret stairs, boys. In, where? Where at, sorry? Four on the secret stairs. Okay, okay. I can go Visa. So I can go Visa on them and maybe hit them with a flank even out the Visa window. There's four on the secret stairs, which are those outside stairs. So I'm going to do something kind of crazy. Yeah, he's outside. They open, they open the inside of screw ball. He's outside holding this lesion, so I might actually be able to pick him off. If we could have some deny from above, above maybe. Watch for the garage flank. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Do you hear this guy outside the window? It's, still? Uh, back in. So winning this gunfight is going to be hard, but I have to, to stop the plant, and I didn't get him. Wow. Thatcher's outside Visa window, but my right. team luckily dealt with the push. Secret is Thatcher. I don't know my team could win. There. Oh, one's coming down Visa stairs. Come down Visa stairs. He might, he might come through Teller's. He's Teller's window. Teller's window. Oh, yeah. He's in Teller's right now. And the other one's outside Visa window. You can pulse this guy. You can pulse this guy in, uh, in A site. Uh, or do you have the Is diffuser down? Yeah, he might walk down the stairs then. Do you have the diffuser? Sensor deployed. I don't... 
Coming down secret now. Secret stairs now. It's Thatcher. I'm being pinged. Yo, hopped in visa. Both visa. Yo, might jump the side hatch. Might jump the side hatch. He just, he just shotgunned it. Careful, he's down there with you. And then one's upstairs still. So. Nice. Last one's Jackal in your hallway, Pauls. All right, the boys got this. Just got to keep calling out. One friendly remaining. Somebody asked me about callouts. Like, how do you make the right callouts? And to that, I would say Five seconds to go. practice time. But it also shows you the the general callout right here on your screen. When I get pulled the scoreboard away, you'll see it above the compass there. So you can kind of learn them from that as well, just the general rooms. And honestly, that's pretty much all you really need to know is the general rooms. And then just being able to actually organize people. So saying, hey, like he's tight right, tight right right here. Like tight around your corner. So that's info that's really good. Now this band is going to win this 1v1. I have so much faith in this dude. He knows he's in this back hallway. He just has to be aggressive and take the fight. He's got to pick away and just stick to it. Nice try, dude. Unfortunate, you know, I think we did our best there. We distract the guy holding the flank while my team collapsed on the plant. We ended up in a 4v2, which is like, that's kind of the best thing you can ask for is a 4v2. Um, it may have been a 3v2 after I died, but that's still man advantage. That's still a round that's very, very winnable. So I'm not upset that my team lost that, you know. We still got two rounds on the board. We're chilling. Um, we did pretty good, and, you know, we just end up losing the round. It's all good. It happens. It happens. You know, and we still won two rounds. We can definitely win a, one attack. We win one attack. We're in overtime. We win two attacks. We win the game. It's that easy, you know? So we'll just chill. Hang out, have fun. Let's not get mad. I'm literally not mad at all. I'm like, I hope he wins it. But if he doesn't, it's fine. You know, you just have to take it as it comes. Again, two and three on the Cav. You, you could tell that that one round I did do a lot. But on the scoreboard, it's it's not really showing up. And especially against five stacks and people that are working together, you're not going to be able to get those interrogations off. It's going to be a lot harder, super risky. And you're better off just collecting the kills uh, most of the time. So... Three rounds of cav, not a single interrogation. Uh, it is a lot easier to interrogate players when they're not coordinated. So in lower ranks or when they're not five stack, then you are going to find you get those interrogations a lot more often Yo, just because I'm, people I'm are cool. going off on their own and stuff. So it's definitely, Who, it's definitely possible, streamer, especially in those lower ranks. My favorite streamer? Yeah, man. Probably Ice Cold. All right, Yo, so boost? Ice Cold, dude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this outer wall and Maverick it open just to apply oh, pressure. Yeah, mine too. Make some uh, make some holes so that they have to worry about them at least. And then I can rotate somewhere else, rat around, try to make plays with the Mav Torch. We don't have to like fully open panels and open reinforcements with them. But it's just like a nice way to like get around wall denial and also create pressure by just opening opening the walls, right? A lot of people will spawn peek that doorway, so you got to be careful of it. It's going to free fire, look for a pick quick. All right, that is insane. Yo, where do we? Come on, man. Now I would love to drone this, but I got to get rid of the bandit battery, so I'm gonna do that quick because I droned it earlier. So I want to know if they're watching it, if they're holding this, and if they're not, I may be able to play aggressively and play a little stupid on it. Now, I could repel this wall. I could even just hold the cross since they're not playing it, and they might not even realize that I opened the wall. One's, one's playing by the shield in the second. Now this guy is here. I'm gonna wait for him to walk into the room if he does. Pre-fire it. And then I'm just gonna dip out. Off the sound too. And another thing we can do with Mav is we can rat in. Wait, I should keep all that in. We can we can Maverick in through doors. Bucks inside, and that's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in here then because they're probably freaking out about that. I'm not watching the default, so I should be able to walk up here. Also's in uh, Can melee the goo mine, sneaky. Yo, can I get a duck in, please? Uh, Bandit yellow says. It's gonna walk on the back. Oh, I can see. Oh, there's two more. Wow. There's two more uh, visa side. I wasn't expecting all three on me, but that's because we lost the pressure on yellow side. If our guys stay alive yellow, I probably had a really big play there, but after they killed them, they started coming back to me because the beeper went off. They knew I was in that area, obviously. So I, I, if I made that play like 10 seconds sooner, maybe left the breach a little sooner, didn't even do the droning, then it probably could have been pretty effective. But because my teammates were in sight before I actually got to the push, the timing was just a little off. I mean, we got one kill, but it wasn't enough, obviously. But I had to get a couple more. Nice try. That's the way she goes. We'll try for this basement attack. Um... If they are basement and they have like a bunch of walnut, if they have the bandit again, Yo, I man, can. What was the best duo strategy for concert? I can mav off like the bandits and stuff. <laughs> I kind of need it. I feel like. Um, 
<laughs> best duo strategy for consulate this guy's asking for i don't know man the you know what the strategy is the fucking grim ying on ceo window but they want it so i can't handle it dude <clears throat> i'm just trying to play the game man hey i'm absolutely insane they're just having fun it's okay i can't let it annoy me that's like that's the one thing that's like if i get annoyed by that like i got some i got bigger bigger problems you know man you gotta stop i'm just i just i can't even talk when he's just fucking blasting my own voice into my eardrums you know but he's calling out and stuff so i don't want to mute Sorry, him man. no it's okay um Drone just i i need to be able to think and i can't think when that's happening that's all i just i have too much crackhead in me um so going for the main wall is gonna be tough okay i'm just i'm done i'm sick of it i'm actually getting fucking pissed um whew, all right take a breath take a breath it's because i had coffee this morning i've been trying to stop drinking coffee because it kind of gets me like amped up I could go for the main breach and just map a wall, map a line in the wall, just add pressure. We have the thermite in the ram, so it looks like my team's going up top, so I might actually help them do that first. Uh, that way we don't have to deal with like them peeking the map holes. Like They can play pretty aggressive on that breach, and it's not a good time, so I'm not going to go open it quite yet, but I might later. So I'm going to help with this roam clear first. Go for the spawn peak. My team is dead. Good go, good go. He ran out single wall. Now I could even maybe go into the yellow door. That default, it's fine. Where's my drone at? Did I? Where is it? Oh. No, we could walk up yellow here. Yellow stairs, upper yellow. Is that a Fenrir? It's a Fenrir. It does have a Fenrir on this, so I'm not gonna walk in there. You can hack that Fenrir on yellow door and I can push him. So one in the top yellow, Fenrir. Well, what, careful my right side swing here. I'm gonna flash this again in a second. And then push right. So I can try to lurk on this Fenrir. You must recover the diffuser. I might be calling out now. I'm gonna walk up and just hope for a pick here. I'm playing get some audio diffuser. or something. You one stop for Rachel Maverick on the hatch of the uh, a good call. That's the Fenrir. Good call, dude. I wouldn't know that otherwise. Just a little ratty map hole. I did count him. Oh, there's another one up here. Wow. Bigger's piano. We had a flank drone too, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, you know, that's the way she goes. It's typical, uh, typical way she goes. Got one good call out, but can't ask for too many, you know, with the randoms. Again, a lot easier in a five stack. Five stack versus solo queue. It's especially champ five stacks like these guys that like I was down. they're they're working together. They know uh, how to play off each other. Too. They know how He's to do quiet. it. And it's just the teamwork is something that is always going to be the strongest thing in this game. It's it's teamwork. Nice like, teamwork. Good, teamwork is the best. So working with our teammates is nice, but it's pretty hard when like they're they're dead really fast and then also not watching drones. You know, if they if your teammates don't want to be like don't want to work together as a team, then. Yeah, life's gonna be a lot tougher, but I love the M4. I think the M4 and Mav is like you can you can just play Mav like almost like like a flex op. Like I don't like thinking of Mav as like a thermite, you know, where you go and you have to get main breach. Um, I like thinking of Mav as like you can uh, you can make some ratty holes and get some quick picks off them. You can add pressure by making holes and just make them cons like be worried about it. You can yes, you can go to that breach and Mav the floor and shoot the bandits off if it's just a bandit, and then your teammate your thermite can get it or whatever. Yeah, you can Mav trick. You can make the whole wall soft if that's what you want to do. Um, it's a valid option. You know, it's just a little riskier. It's a little harder. It's site dependent. Like on that site, if I try to Mav trick, they get real up close and just fry me off of it. It's not a site where it's easy Finger to do. exploit. Yeah, nobody. All right, so we got to win this attack here. They are piano. I yeah, I'm surprised we went tellers. I think piano is a much better site than uh, than tellers. Uh, so if if I could get a do over, I'd probably be like, hey, let's go, let's go piano. So here, the maverick, the actual blowtorch is not going to get much done. I would probably switch off if I was um, not playing maverick only. You know, I'd probably bring like someone to clear top floor, like a buck or like a. So I'm going to go see a window and repel in from there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go yellow skylight, try to gather some info, try to sneak around the map again, pick some people off perhaps. Uh, it's it's tough because it's hard to get those 
it's hard to get those uh, those picks when they have so much information. They are like really working together well uh, and calling out and whatnot. So we got the default cam. I might go to CEO window, but the thing is, if I go to the CEO window and I start droning, not only can they hop out of these other windows on me, but they'll if there's someone in there, they're just gonna shoot my drone. And I'm gonna have no info. I'm not gonna be able to push. So at least if I drone yellow. I can make a play off the drone. Like I can get some info, figure out where yeah, they're at. And by the time they shoot my drone, I can pop it. So it sounds like one is CEO. There's some cap cans here, which is good I'm to know. Here, I'm just gonna hop in and try to push the CEO. So CEO guy. Now that Fenrir is really messing me up. In a... Push off this. We could push my rights. I'm gonna push around. I heard him go prone. Stay close. See ya. Okay, so two of our teammates are dead. He's probably holding this hatch. I actually thought he dropped. I thought the family may have dropped. There's another one, CEO. Wow, there's two CEO. Okay, well, I didn't know Rooney was there the entire time. Again, just not enough info. It's unfortunate. That's that's kind of the problem is when you're playing guys that are working really well together, as you just saw, you know, they're playing off each other. There's one going to be in the hatch. Okay, two on site. He dropped the hatch already. Nobody else upstairs. Yo, go to the hatch, Ash. Go to the hatch. Pizza hatch. Pizza hatch. Pizza hatch. There's two under it. He's got to help his teammate a little sooner. Oh, there's another guy upstairs. Okay, so they're doing a triple roam setup with the vert holes. And this is like a full-on like competitive setup. Like that's going to be really hard to break down by yourself. I tried. Uh, it didn't work out. There was a lot of holes in my push too. Like if there was another guy behind me, I could have got shot in the back, you know. So it's kind of tough. But um, that's pretty much all you can do in solo queue is try your best. Hope, hope that your teammates also do well. Uh, and when you're playing console to attack, it's it's going to be tough. But we'll do another game on the games channel, playing more Maverick and Cav, if you're interested in watching that, uh, which will be linked in the description. And uh, go join... Oh my god, I almost just threw up. What the hell? Go join my subreddit, r slash poxonlocks, new subreddit, where we post memes, help each other get better at the game, and uh, ask questions about Siege, where uh, I try to answer as much as I can over there, and it's been a lot of fun. So we'll see you in the games channel. Go watch now. Goodbye.